Hello guys, it's Charles Peter here. Today we are proving that we don't need fancy equipment to create breathtaking art. With just a mouse and Adobe Illustrator, we are about to add a splash of color to our vector line art masterpiece. If you missed out on the last tutorial where we drew this stunning line art, don't worry, you can still catch up and join the fun. Click on the top right corner and it will take you to that video. So you watch and then come back here and join us as we add a splash of color to this line art we have just created. And while you are at it, show your support by liking, subscribing and turning on those notifications. Let's show the world the magic we can create one click at a time. So as you know, this is uh, the cleanest line that we have created in the previous tutorial. And there are some things you have to know first before we continue to do anything. You have to know the tools of the trade. We are going to be using the selection tool, uh, direct selection tool, the rectangle tool here. We are also going to use the fill tool. When you look at this clean line art, you will see that every shape that is enclosed, its lines cross past the other lines. Like when you look at this line, it crosses past this shape here. So it enters this, this enclosed shape. And if you look at this uh, stroke line for the eye, you see that it has crossed past this line to the other side. The same with this side. The reason for this is that when you color later on, you will struggle to color different parts separately. If you apply the color here, the same color you apply here will be also applied to this side. But if you separated them with a line like this, that crosses past the other lines like this one here, that means later on the skin tone you'll apply here will not be applied outside. This is the importance of enclosing shapes in their own places. So you can color them separately with different colors. So now we're going to select everything using the selection tool. And then we go to object. Click on expand appearance. And then come to pathfinder here and click on merge. So all our lines will be merged all together. So when you click on the line art like this, it will not be only one line that's going to move. The whole artwork is going to be moved. So that's the importance of merging your lines together. If you don't find pathfinder on this panel here, you can come to window and you'll find pathfinder here. Here, the shortcut is shift plus control and F9. Now that our lines are merged all together, we are going to make a copy of the line art layer by dragging and dropping it onto the new layer icon here and automatically you'll have a copy here then we will lock the copy and we can remain with the line art layer so now it's time to choose our skin tone that we can apply on the line art here you can either use the eyedropper tool to sample from the photo like this or you can just do it from the fill tool yourself. So we're just going to use the fill tool. We'll choose this skin tone here. Around here. This is good. You click OK. Now to apply it on the line art, we are going to use the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool, the shortcut is M on your keyboard. It's here. Click on it. And now drag over the line art like this to cover all the line art like this and then now right click on the rectangle and then go to arrange and then click on send to back here and for you to know that it's really sent to back you need to come and look at our line art here and you'll see that the skin tone on the rectangle here is sent behind the lines you can see here now we are going to select everything again with our selection tool both the rectangle and the line art all together like this and then we come to pathfinder and match them together click on match and again if you don't find pathfinder on this panel you can always come to window like i told you before and you will find pathfinder down here so now right click on the rectangle like this and click on isolate selected group. Now you'll go into isolation mode. If you see this red line, this is isolation mode. So click on the rectangle and press the delete key on your keyboard. And the rectangle is gone. Now we can color everything separately. So if you want to color multiple parts at once, 
you can hold down shift and select them and then apply the same color to them all together so i will click on this parts of the eye i will hold down shift and also click this one and then also hold down shift and also click on this and this one you see they are all selected now i can double click on the fill tool to change their color this color is good not regular plain white this one is okay like this and then we'll also select the inner part of the eye here i will also hold down shift and select this one so the two of them will be selected all together and then i double click on the fill tool and i give them a brown color i think this one is good now we can color the hearings the same way hold down shift and click inside the hearing hold down shift also here we give them uh, like a gold color and then we will color the teeth we will click on the area of the teeth with the selection tool and then double click on the fill tool to change the color around here is okay we will also select the lips this one is good let us change it a little bit This one is okay. We will also color these parts. Even these ones. Yes, this one is good. So this one will be our base color here. This one. So now guys, everything is colored. This is how you color a line art in Adobe Illustrator CC with just your computer mouse. No graphics tablet required. Click on escape key on your keyboard like this to exit isolation mode. Now we are off isolation mode. You see how good it is. It's looking already nice. But that's not the end to it, because now this is flat, we need to add some realism to it by shading it and adding some highlights so it will look realistic like a real artwork with depth and dimension. So we're going to do that in the next tutorial. You can see how easy it is to color. It's very easy than making the line art. This is the easiest part. So stay on the lookout on the next tutorial on how I'm going to shade this one and how we will uh, make this hair look realistic in the next tutorial. And if you're getting value, please like the video so it can be recommended to your friends who also want to learn some vector art so that we can grow our community together. And if you have not subscribed to the channel so far, please do and then turn on the notifications bell so you'll never miss an update. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.